All right. Good morning, allies. Little Monday. Well, well it's Tuesday. That's right. We had uh, Labor Day yesterday. Really good drone shots yesterday. I was pretty happy with uh, the, some of the drone footage I was able to pick up. But it, it's not the most amazing, like, activity or, or, or craziness, but really just pretty. The, the, the coastline... The California coastline is just pretty, and it gets better as you go north, I must admit. But um, down south here, we got the, the nice little sandy beaches, and we got the wetlands area. So that's what that is uh, that I showed yesterday. So anyway, I, I liked it. Look it. It's this truck again. Remember this truck? I think, uh, God, it feels like six months ago or more I saw this truck. Look at these. You got enough lights there, bro? I don't know. I think you need some more lights. Good afternoon, allies. I've got a bit of a bee in my bonnet. Uh, I want to make an antenna for 20 meters to uh, play around with and put in my attic eventually. So what I am going to do is stop by Lowe's, get some wire, uh, hunk of PVC pipe with some end caps, some eye bolts, and uh, and yeah, I'm gonna make a, make an antenna. Maybe find some insulating uh, insulators too. That'd be awesome. So the goal is to make a half wavelength 20 meter antenna. So half of 20 meters is about 32 feet, about. Perfect. Never mind. found better stuff. Stranded, bulk, a 50 feet roll for eight bucks. All right, now I need a PVC to couple, to bodge it all up in for the center feed. I also need some insulators. I'll look for those in a second. So it's about 20 bucks for the full solution. Um, cheap, that's five, 10 bucks cheaper than a, than a really, really cheap version. So in this particular instance, there's a couple advantages of doing this uh, antenna on your own. One is it's inexpensive. Two, the quality of material you're going to get for the price that you're paying is much higher than any commercially retail available uh, antenna like an MFJ or, or whatever, whoever makes the different dipoles. So you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck and it's a, a really good way of practicing building something that is a very easy antenna to build but once you know how to do it then you'll be able to do it forever in the future <laughs> and you could do it up pretty quickly in less than an hour. All right guys, I am going to make a simple dipole antenna. It's one of the most uh, simplest, easiest antennas you can make. And I'm gonna use this little thing as the insulator. This is what hangs, this is the middle point, the feed point of your radio connects here. And then you have two radials coming off each side, very simple. 50 feet spool of wire, this is the cheapest, just about the cheapest you can go. If you go higher bulk, you can get it for cheaper. This was uh, eight bucks. Everything here was less than $20. Very inexpensive to do this.
Okay, so here we go. I got an insulator and I got my long red wire which runs for 16 and a little over 16 and a half feet to my insulator, my dipole insulator. There's my feed connector to another 15 feet or 16 over there. So the idea is I can hook up my cat or my uh, coax and I can hook my radio up to it. Let's try it and see how it goes. All right, so I think we have a problem. So I found my problem. My ground is not grounding. So, Okay, that's going to be good enough for now. Just to try it out. Right, let's try this again. So I've got some kind of problem. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I'm gonna have to do some more research. Huh. So I'm calling it a quits for today. Oh, I listen. Yeah, I'm a little bummed out. The antenna's not working, and I think I know what the culprit is. Hold on, let me show you. It's this little thing. This is the other arm. This is how you wire up the set, the second line, the other feed line. I need to do that better. So I think that's where the I think that's where the problem lies. So I'll take care of that tomorrow. Question of the day. Do you have a question of the day? Do you have a question of the day? Do you like soldering small electronics? I personally love it. I love little projects, soldering things. I've always loved the soldering iron. As a kid, it was one of my favorite tools to work with. So Maybe post below if you have uh, a love of soldering and what's the, what's your favorite project or thing you've ever worked on that you had to solder. And I don't mean a sweating pipe, that's a bit different. I mean particularly soldering with soldering iron on electronics. All right, cool. Talk to you tomorrow. See ya. So tomorrow is Wednesday and really all we're doing this week is ramping up for Ben's birthday. That's right, it's this coming weekend. So. Stay tuned for that. Guys, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll touch you tomorrow.